Hello, today we are going to work on a radial design. So this is your sketch that you're going to eventually be recreating without these guides here on your final. So first write your name here and then also write your team and your teacher there just in case it falls out of your portfolio. So you're gonna use the space below to design a radial design. Remember, a radial design is a design that repeats in a circular pattern. So start with one or more of the inner circles and then experiment connecting the dots to create shapes. Remember, you have your reference sheets. We talked about hex signs and Kristen Farr's radial design. So making your own radial symmetry design on here. So I'm gonna start sketching out my design however I want it. Oh, my ruler and my compass will be used on the final. But for now, I'm just going to freehand draw it because this is just my sketch. Okay, so I have my design here. I might add something in here on my final. I haven't decided yet. But what you're going to do is you're gonna get approval for your design and then you are going to take that design and transfer it onto your final. Before you do your final, there's some things you're gonna have to set up first though. So on the back of this paper, and the back side is the shiny side, write your name, your team, and your teacher. And then I'm drawing on this side. So what I'm first going to do, and I'm going to use a compass. So we've watched the video on how to use a compass correctly. If not, we'll watch that right now. And this is a different compass than what you guys will be using as a class, but I'm adjusting this to the size that I want it. And then I'm gonna put my, actually I'm gonna make it a little bigger. So I'm adjusting this to the size that I want it. The point goes into the middle, and then the pencil is on the outside, and then you can either spin the compass or the paper to get your design, your circle to draw. If you're afraid it's gonna move, you can always hold your hand there. There we go. And now I have a perfect circle drawn on here. So I'm gonna take my ruler. You're gonna measure with this ruler. So here we have it in inches. This side measures in inches and eighths. So you have your half an inch here, your inch here, um, two inches, three inches, and then your little eighth marks on each side. The other side is still measuring in inches, but it's sixteenth of an inch. So you have a lot more spaces if you want to get more precise. You should be fine using the side where it says an eighth of an inch. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to draw a line that splits my circle perfectly in half. Draw lightly because this is a guideline and it will be erased. There we go. Now I'm going to split it in half again the opposite direction. Then I'm going to draw two diagonal lines. So I'm splitting it again, making sure those lines are all intersecting in the middle. Okay, these spaces look pretty equal. The next step before we get started is to measure half inches on here. So on my line, I am just going to mark little dots for every half inch. So a half inch, an inch, inch and a half, two inches, two and a half inches, three, and then I, that's all I can fit. So I'm gonna to continue to do that to the, all the sides. This will make it easier for you when it comes time to draw your designs evenly. What I did forget to mention is when you're measuring, you shouldn't start measuring right at the tip of the ruler. Start where that black line is for the start of the measurements. Otherwise your designs will not be equal. Okay, once you're done, you're right back to what you had for your sketch, and you are going to redraw this on here. Taking your time, using the compass and the ruler to adjust to the sizes that you need to to get your design done. I have a student example here that I'm gonna use to show you guys the next step. So here it is drawn. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to outline this design in Sharpie. This is an optional step. You do not have to do this. I want to do this for my design. So if you are doing this, outline in Sharpie and then erase pencil lines. If you don't want to outline, that's fine. I just think it helps my designs show up a little stronger. Are you ready to color this in? 
I am putting a mat underneath, not because it's gonna go through the paper, but just because I don't wanna accidentally on the edges go out of my lines. We are using Sharpies to color this in. Color it in however you would like. Think about the color choices that go well together. When you are coloring with a Sharpie, go in the same direction for all of your lines so it looks consistent and nice. If you want the Sharpie to be a little darker in certain areas, you can do that two ways. So I could go over this several times with the Sharpie. So I'm creating value and shading there. Or I could take a darker color and add maybe some value and shading on the sides like that. So go ahead and color this all in. Take your time. Think about color choices that go really well together. Have fun.